Hi guys! In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about the new Solidify feature in Marvelous Designer 6. It's a very, very useful feature and I'll show you why. So sometimes when you simulate, there are these wrinkles that you finally got to look just the way you wanted them. You pulled on them, you tugged on them, and you're just like, oh, that's so beautiful, I love those wrinkles there under the arm, or whatever. Let's just say that we're super happy with this arrangement. The problem is, every time we simulate, unless we freeze the whole sleeve or deactivate it, the wrinkles are going to change. And if we animate the clothes and she's walking, the wrinkles are also going to change. Now, sometimes you want them to change because that's naturally what they do when people move, but maybe you really like the way you pushed up the sleeve or rolled it up or whatever, and you don't want it changing. So you could use pins, but they become really obvious and they often make the clothes lumpy and ugly. So now in MD6 we have another option. Instead of pins, we can use the solidify setting. It's right here. Solidify. If we turn it on, we can control the strength. Now I have it set to 99, which is the maximum. And now the wrinkles, as you see, this lump here, these wrinkles here, this line here, when I simulate, they're going to pretty much stay that way. See the rest of the clothes, I can tug it. This I can tug it too, but it keeps wanting to go back into that position which it remembers. Now let's apply some kind of a pose to her. And there you can still see that wrinkle lump here, that line and these zigzag lines and this line across here. And usually the clothes would change, they wouldn't stay in the exact same wrinkle, but because we have the solidify on, they are staying. Now if we lower the solidify um, strength, you can see they start to relax and they start to change a bit. If we lower it even more, they're starting to, the wrinkles are starting to fall naturally. And if we turned it off, and just let it simulate, it would start to lose that shape that we just had. You can see the wrinkles are different. Now if we stop simulation and just uh, undo that. Here we've got her back in A-pose with those wrinkles like we made them. Let's turn the solidify on and at 99. And uh, let's just pull on this sleeve a bit to lift it up a bit. Uh, you can notice this fabric is reacting rather strangely. It's sort of bloated, almost like it has very high bending. And that's because these two are symmetric to each other. So although I apply the solidify only to this sleeve, it affects the other one too. So let's just um, pause simulation, remove symmetry so I can turn it off in this one and we can see the difference. There we go, now it hangs naturally. And let's just push it up a bit. Like that. Now let's give her that T-pose and see how each sleeve reacts differently. Let's just make sure this one has... yep, it has it on. Note the wrinkles are still the same, they're not changing. This one is changing. But these ones are like frozen. They're still exactly the same, it looks even a bit queer. Whereas here it's hanging naturally. Let's go here, turn it off, simulate. And there you can see they're relaxing and hanging more naturally. So I'm selecting this sleeve and turning on Solidify. And you can see this fabric is applied to the whole dress. Now let's simulate and go into this fabric and change it to something like cotton. And then let's change it further to something like really stiff, raise the bending. And you can see how the rest of the dress puffs up, right? Here it's a lot of wrinkles and here it's like puffing up really stiff, that sleeve that I solidified doesn't change much. It sort of wants to. See the rest is I'm overdoing it here. The rest is really blown out, bulging. That sleeve just staying the way that I solidified it. For example, I made an internal line. I'm going to turn on elastic, simulate, and there it pulls it up together. Now I'm going to select that dress and I'm going to solidify it as high as possible and then I'm going to delete that internal line. So there's no elastic, no reason for it to be bunched up, but if we simulate, it still wants to keep that shape. And if we unsolidify it, it drops. So that's useful for animations, for simulations, 
the specific pattern that you want to keep the wrinkles. Now you can't just do an area, which is a shame. It'd be nice if you could just solidify a part. Maybe in another version, who knows. But it's still very useful if you have some pattern that you want to keep the wrinkles exactly as they are. So that's the solidify, and I hope that helps you. See you in the next tutorial.